Hello, I am Pastor Brad Doty coming to you with our daily devotion, Images of God, for Friday, February 12th. Our theme for today is God is Justice. And our reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, the 18th chapter. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, In a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared for what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he went and he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care what people think, Yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Who will he he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, our God is a just God. It is who God is, which is to be just. This reveals God uh, being a loving and caring God who loves and cares for his children. Justice is part of God's character. Deuteronomy 32, 4 says, God is the rock. His work is perfect and all his ways are just. A faithful God without deceit, just and upright is he. God is a just God. There are many different aspects and types of justice. You have distributive justice, which is determining who gets what. Well, we all kind of know what that is now as the COVID-19 vaccine is being distributed. And they're trying to figure, looking to figure out uh, who should get it first. Part of that may have to do with justice. Procedural justice, determining how fair people are treated. Retributive justice, based on punishment for wrongdoing. Restorative justice, which tries to restore relationships to rightness. Will God... calls us to seek justice as well. Isaiah 1, 17 says, Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, remove the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, rescue the oppressed, defend the orphan, plead for the widow. God is justice, and God calls us to be people of justice as well. I'm going to read again from our book, uh, Images of, uh, of God. Before judging others, we should see, know, and understand who they are and why they did or did not do something. We should walk a mile in their shoes As the proverb says, God sees, knows, and understands much better than we do exactly who we are and why we act the way we do. God walks in our shoes every day. God is a just God, and God knows us. God acts justly, and God cares for us and loves us. Let us pray. Just God, we give you thanks for loving us and caring for us and acting 
justly to us and on our behalf. Thank you for being a just God. Lord, uh, it is hard for us to be just people at times. Help us to seek justice in our lives for the sake of us and for the sake of others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Have a blessed day.